Hi guys, uh, Franz here from Sakes of Namibia and today we are going to be releasing um, what's arguably the most common non-venomous snake species we find here in Namibia and that is the brown house snake. Now as the name would suggest, surprise surprise, they're brown and they're common around people's houses. Now brown house snakes are mainly nocturnal hunters so these guys are only active during the night and this is usually when they tend to hunt for small little lizards, geckos, rodents and you can even find them out and about sometimes during the day hunting for birds and at night for bats as well. Now brown house snakes have no venom so these guys are constrictors and often what they do the prey is seized by the head they coil around it and they typically tend to squeeze. Now the pressure that's exerted pretty much cuts off the blood supply and the heart stops and that's when the snake is going to commence by feeding on it. Now the easiest way to identify a brown house snake is by looking at the coloration. Either it's going to be a dark or light brown above, in some cases it can even be an olive green coloration and usually they have this cream white belly and this cream white belly often creeps up the side of the body and touches this lovely brown coloration. The other thing you'll notice about the brown house snake is that the head is shaped like a spear or like that of a python. And you'll also notice that brown house snakes typically tend to have these yellow stripes that cuts through the eye and that is actually on both sides. And if you look at it from the top, it almost forms this V shape. And that is usually the, the characteristic that tends to give this particular snake away. Now, brown house snakes don't t tend to get very big here in Namibia. Usually they average between um, 80 centimeters to a meter with exceptionally large individuals growing up to about uh, 1.3 meters in length. And often they're usually as thick as an as a adult's thumb. You can see this guy is rearing to go. He's not in the mood to be handled anymore. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna put him down and he should be on his way to freedom. And hopefully, you won't be bothered again. So this is without a doubt um, my favorite non-venomous species. And off to freedom he goes.